Hi everyone, I'm looking for another ICC 15 10 game. Um, let's see who we got today. Here we go, we got Mass Carnage 2068. Wow. Well, let's see. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Underestimate me. I'm playing white. I'm playing white though, so let's see. Um, taking the piss. Had a similar position recently. He's gonna try and um, undermine this, this center pawn here. So I'm just gonna play this. Maybe F4. Knight of three, it's okay for now. Bishop here. Okay. Bishop e seven, I guess. Um, it should be four, just c three, so not a problem there. Maybe um, H3 could be useful. Not really. I'm just gonna castle. Um, maybe he'll try and get crazy and send the H pawn down the board. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Playing very sensibly. I'm almost fully developed here. Thinking Rook to E1. Queen E2 maybe. Queen e2 is, is not a bad move, is it? No, well, if I sacrifice, he'll just defend with his bishop, so... Um, queen to e2. I'd like to get the last piece involved, that c bishop. Maybe queen to e1 then. Then knight to, <coughs> knight to f1 is possible. Bring it back up. for knight to f1 what I don't want to do is give him too much time advantage but I think my position is really good right now the thing is I, I recently played something like this and um, I talked about it as well so yeah he plays h6 preventing me from playing bishop there very well thought um, so maybe now h3 and then bishop e3 his most active piece is the bishop in b7. That's his most active piece. How can I um <sighs> Well my knight on f1 is pretty horrible right now, so maybe just knight to to g3 is good. That was the point of putting a knight there, right? So why not? Okay. He says, he's saying, I'm gonna leave my king in the middle and we're gonna play. Is that what you're saying? That's what he's saying. I could sacrifice here, but I don't want his king going on the queen side. Maybe just e, e5 here. e5. Maybe h h3 is good here. Uh, I'm gonna play h3, just preventing his idea for for a second. Okay. Yeah. Um. He plays it anyway. We'll take. Need to open up the center somehow. Okay. 
Let's play this move because if he opens up that, that is not good for him. D5. Mass Carnage. Very aggressive. Um, he says he's written the book called Attacking 101. Um, well, yeah, I can see that he is attacking. <laughs> Life Master Joel Johnson, US Senior Champion. Ah, cool. Oh, so he does close that diagonal. Yeah, he didn't want to open it. Um, but now his bishop is just a horrible piece. I'm happy, happy about that. I do need to somehow open the center up though. Maybe knight to g5 as an, as an idea. Just preventing the development of his bishop. I don't know, he will develop it anyway. Knight to g5. I have 12 minutes though, I'm happy with my time management here. Maybe it's time to play a4. Center is closed, he has open lines to my king. I have pieces around my king though. So that's okay. I mean, is h5 really terrible? Maybe. It might be pretty bad. Oh, knight to f5. How can he get rid of my knight on f5? I think I'm gonna play knight to f5. This knight is not really doing very much here right now. Neither is my bishop, I can see that, but knight to f5, let's do it. Let's get close to his king somehow. That's fair enough. I can play something like knight to, to d2 now, trying to play f3, maybe? His knight is out of squares. It's an idea. <clears throat> that might be the, the move he's waiting for, the, the bad one. Knight to d2, what's his best move? I mean... Knight to. I'm gonna play it. I don't know. I don't see what his best move is. So. My knight is very happy on him. Because if he moves his knight now, he's dropping the knight because my queen is attacking it. So I think it's a good move. Um, I mean, I might be winning a piece here. If that is the case, what I'm gonna try to do is if I win the piece. I'm, I'm gonna try to run with my king to the other side of the board to get out of this crazy attack he's trying to, to put up. <laughs> ah, it's cool to get somebody higher rated finally. Um, Life Master John Johnson, US Senior Champion. Formation attacks, formation attack strategies, attacking one on one. Right, well, keep attacking me because I think your attack is dying down right now. Um, he's played. 2,500 of these games. Um, he's won 1,900 and only lost 400. Pretty good. A uh, peak rating of 2,298. Alright, well, I need to um, stay focused here and uh, make sure that he doesn't come up with something crazy. I mean, he's thinking now because, um, well, I guess he can play, but he doesn't play. I thought he had to play like h5 or something here. Yeah. So what What about f3 now? What are you doing? f3... What's your move? Then h... h5? Trying to open that file?
Yeah. F3. What do I take first? Maybe I take first. Don't want to lose a piece right uh, upon. I might take first. And then play F3 after that. I think so. Let's go. Yeah, my king is a bit safer than his, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's go for that. H5 I'm expecting, and I'm just going to take no fear. Um, oh, really? Oh, you take that? Oh, I didn't see that. <sighs> that was his plan. Open up that side. Oh, he had a plan. <laughs> Rubbish. If I play f1, he will go knight h2 check. If I play h1, he just... He just plays h5. And in that case, if I take, he takes his check mate. Huh. Yeah, that's not a pretty move to face. Why did I see that? I should have thought that he had a plan. Uh, he's not gonna just let me win, is he? Alright, uh, okay, um, do I have something here though? If I play eight. Actually, if I play king to h1, it's even worse. He just plays knight to f2 check and he's winning my queen. Uh, checkmate coming out, actually. Checkmate on f2. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's see, could I have prevented it? Yeah. Could I have prevented it? F3 is just not a move anymore, is it? After that, he saw F3, he found a great solution. Well done, Mass Carnage. I'm not sure I have anything here. This is really bad. <laughs> there is nothing, is there? Um, I'm losing a rook if I want to play. This could have been prevented by playing bishop to e3 earlier, huh? Is there absolutely nothing I can do? I'm going to play knight to, to d4, he just takes again. And there's no nothing to be done. Ah, you gotta be kidding me! I'm in a good position, and this happens. Well, I don't think I'm missing anything. I think this is over. Alright, finish it up. I don't want to resign, not yet. <laughs> it's definitely resignable though. <laughs>
could have prevented that. I had a good position, I had a really good position. I haven't faced anybody that has actually done something that cool. I mean, c6 with the plan of getting his queen to b6, because then f3 is just deadly for me, not for him. Very, very good. Okay. Knight to c4. Chase his queen away a bit. There goes my winning streak. <laughs> ah, I had a good position. Why did I not stop to see if, if B6? Or C6 was, um, oh, okay. Mm. Move to G3, just get a win that night. I don't want to take, it takes with check, it's over. Hey, if I can't win that night, <laughs> don't count me out yet. We'll play till the end. <laughs> Until he gets a checkmate. <clears throat> yeah, rook down is not that bad. We could just pretend I'm playing a rook odds, right? Ah, yeah, okay. That's bad, but uh huh. Yeah, I don't think I had another choice, right? Okay. Now my knight is hanging as well. That's that sucks. I have one move, so. Now h4 and it's checkmate next turn, right? <laughs> Very good. He's got a great understanding of what's like in chess. I guess that's why he wrote that book, huh? Um, Good. Just spotted that tactic on the diagonal so easily. Should have probably just played it a bit safer and um, went back here. No, back here. I had a feeling knight to d2 wasn't that great. I mean, I have a knight on f on f5. It's pretty good. <coughs> Maybe bishop. Um, I 
It's just, uh, yeah, for me, saw that. I saw that a while ago. <laughs> Good for me. Um, there's nothing to do here, right? Time to resign. Gonna run away my king a bit. <laughs> Take his knight and then he checks me and just keep running and check and check me up there next to his king. Or, I mean, there's no way to stop it, is there? Let's run away, his game's lost anyway. Checkmate in two. Nice checkmate, well played. Whisper to minus one, what is that? He wants to play a rematch, but I can't. I need to um, just analyze this and end the video. It's one game a day, and that was already embarrassing enough. Um, okay, let's put the game engine on. I felt like I had a good position. Let's see. Look, I mean, this he's giving me a pawn advantage basically by playing like he does. <clears throat> so maybe not castling just yet. A4. Maybe I, I am developed enough to play A4 and start trying to do something that, yeah. I, I did think of A4, but last time I played A4 too early. Now A4 is the move. Now A4 is actually recommended. Four showed up again. Yeah, I can kind of scar it from last time by by I last time I played a four too early. Well, this time I sh it was actually the move, and I didn't do it. A four again. Um, it's just like the last game where the same move keeps popping up again and again and again. I try just kind of stabilizing the center. A four. <laughs> oh dear. Knight of five, good move. Here, b3. Just develop the bishop on a diagonal, huh? Okay. Set it this. c4. a4 again. Ah, yeah, the game is lost after this. You can see that. It's a terrible blunder. Had a good game, good game, and then. All came crashing down with this move. I should just stop playing F3 or F4, like forever. <laughs> if you go through my games on, on this YouTube channel, most of the games I've lost, well not most, but quite a few, are because I moved the spawn. And um, I, I don't seem to learn that moving the spawn is dangerous. I need to remember moving the F pawn by your king is absolutely, extremely dangerous. Has to be done onwards. With a lot of care, and you have to be sure that nothing bad is going to happen. And in this case, well, I had to see that. Um, I just had to see that that diagonal opens up, his queen can get on it, and I failed to see that basic concept again. Um, but one of these days, I will remember. I will remember that opening that diagonal is that dangerous. Yeah, I mean, this just looks nice with the knight on f5 and four a4 is still is still um. An option, probably even stronger now. Look, I'm up 1.60 points in material. I mean, I mean, he was counting on me blundering like this, but this is not an elementary blunder like, like I used to do before, where I could just drop a piece. But now, it's a, at least a bit more complicated. It's giving a diagonal. That's very powerful. Uh, hopefully, um, I can take that away from this game. And remember, and then next time, it will not happen. Uh, in a way, I had a decent position, decent sound moves, and something can be learned from this game. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and hopefully we can get to back to winning ways tomorrow. Bye-bye. Um,